guys welcome to yet another video of core from scratch today we are going to increase our level of understanding binary tree a bit not much but i want you to be like completely used to writing binary tree code so let's get started so this is the question that we are going to do today root to leaf path sum so basically you are given a binary tree and you are given an integer s so that is the sum you have to find whether there is a root to leaf path sum as s or not so basically what is root to leaf path sum so basically uh, every path has a particular sum right so if we go from here to right so it will become root to path this becomes 1 plus 3 it is equal to 4 here it is becomes 1 plus 2 equal to 3 right but the sum is given equal to 2 so it is not present if it was like one on one, any one of the sides then it would have been true so we would have written true but right now uh, it is not there so we return false to explain more see here it is 1 so from root to any path so we take this as 3 so 1 plus 3 becomes equal to 4 so yes it is present that is why we have true over here so now it is not necessary that there will be only one path there can be many paths with some the only thing that we have to do is we have to return whether there is a path or not let's quickly see in the diagram to understand this properly so let's take any random tree that is given to us so suppose this is how our tree looks it can look like anything okay so basically binary tree means it can have one or two children at any point right so if you see at any point there are one two two children so in the question it is given to us we have to check for root to leaf path sum now what does root to leaf mean root to leaf means that the path that we are considering should start from root and it should end at any leaf see now these are the leaves right these four are the leaves that we have in this and this is the root so any path that starts from root and ends at leaf so basically this is one path this is another path this is another path this is another path so this is very important to understand it okay what does root to leaf path sum mean now suppose there was another tree that was given to us which looked like suppose this i'm just drawing some random stuff okay nothing like i mean something okay so here what are we doing so this is root and these are leaves so basically these are leaves what does leaf mean leaf means there is no children right so no children that is the last node that is there in a path so this is one path this is another path this is another path this is another path so we have to see whether there is a root to leaf path sum that has the sum s that is given to us okay now how can we check that suppose we start from here now suppose s was given to us right now there is a possibility that this s could be here or could be in this path like in, i showed you that there are so many paths possible right so now it is possible that there are multiple paths where the sum is equal to s that is also possible but we have to return that at least there is one path or not so at least if there is one path also we will return true otherwise we will return false so now what do we do we start from here so this particular node value had some value key right so we check on the left side left side basically we have to divide our problem into a smaller problem how do we do that so this had the value key so on the left side we checked okay is there a path that has the sum s minus key see if there is an x value that is already present over here so we have to check that okay if there is a path excluding this particular uh, node that has the sum equal to s minus x then we have our answer right similarly let me show over here suppose the value over here is x okay we uh, we have to check whether the total path value is s now this value is x so we can check okay is there any root to leaf path sum such that the sum is equal to s minus x so this becomes a root now right so if suppose this has the sum s minus x and this is x then we have an answer yes we can return true similarly suppose if this had the sum s minus x we would have returned true similarly if this plus this plus this plus this would have the the sum as s minus x we would have written to like that so this is how we can uh, divide our bigger problem to smaller problems see this one has x value so we know that if we add this we will have x to our answer then we have to look for the smaller sub problems and see that okay is s minus x present if it is present we will return to otherwise we will return false and how and why are we using recursion see suppose x value was present now i passed s minus x to this tree okay now suppose there was value suppose y present okay so i just have to check for s minus x minus y so we are looking for s minus x sum suppose this is equal to some new sum we are looking for new s value okay now we are looking for new s value among this 
now if this is y we will look for what mu s minus y like that right let's take some numerical value so suppose s was equal to 10 and the value over here is suppose 2 okay now we have to check whether there is a root to leave path sum now this value we are looking for is 10 now this is 2 so what do we do in this subtree we pass that we are looking for sum equal to 8 similarly in this subtree we pass that we are looking for sum equal to 8 now suppose this value is equal to 3 so what do we do in this particular subtree in this subtree we will pass that we are looking for the value for what 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 similarly say if this value is equal to 1 then we will pass to this subtree that we are looking for 8 minus 1 which is 7 like this so in the end when we reach so this is the end leaf right so the, here when we reach we know that okay there are no nodes over here we just check that whatever sum is passed to us is that the key value or not suppose there are only three values now this value is 8 this value is 2 this value is 1 now this was 8 so we passed over here that okay we are looking for value s minus 8 now this value if it is equal to 2 only then we have a, an answer otherwise we don't have an answer so we can just return false that means it, if it is the leaf node we know that if our answer exists or not so when are we sure that our answer exists or not only at leaf node because see the path sum that we are talking about is root to leaf we can't go like we'll start from here and we will end over here and come back we can't go to this path and come back it has to start at root and end at leaf only it can't start in the middle and end in the middle it has to start from root and end at leaf so let's start writing our code now let's come to our code now so what is our base condition what will be the condition where we have to stop the recursion and we make sure that okay we are not referencing a null pointer or we don't have stack overflow so what do we do here we put up a check that okay when if our root is basically uh, a leaf node basically it has no children to it so that was the base condition that we were talking about that we are sure that okay an answer that the path sum exists or not okay so what are we going to do we are going to put a check that if there is no left side also so basically if there is no left side and there is no right side so that means that it is a leaf node so this is how you put up a check that okay if a node is a leaf node or not so basically there should be no left side and there should be no right side so because there are no children we are sure that okay this is a leaf node now when it is a leaf node actually the check should be what that uh, if the value at our data basically the data value the key value that we have is equal to s whatever is being passed to the function then we can return true otherwise we return false now one way of writing the code is that okay we write this and then we go like that uh, if the s value is equal to root data then we return true otherwise we will return false this is one way to write the code but you will often see code written like this in short like return s value equal to uh, basically root data so what are we doing see here we have written a conditional check so if this will become true you will return true otherwise you will return false so this is just a way of writing code that the data value that this root has if that is equal to the s then we return true otherwise we return false so you're basically making your code smaller so these are this is just another way of writing code and i'm making you used to it so that is all i'm doing right now so now this is our base condition now what do we do we check for our subtrees we check for our smaller problems so how do we do that that if there is a left child don't worry we will check this properly that if there is a left child then only what I'm, am I going to do? I'm going to call the same function for the left child. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pass root ka left. And what sum am I going to pass? I'm going to pass s minus root ka data. See, this is what we were doing earlier. See, we are basically reducing the sum by the value that is present at the node. So suppose s was given to us as 2. So to the left side when I am passing, I am passing as 2 minus 1. Basically I am passing that, okay, now you check that whether 1 sum is present or not. Okay. So I will call this only if there is a root ka left side present. Only if there is a left side present, I am going to call this. If this is not there, then this will not be called. And when this is called, this is going to return some value. It is either going to return true or false. And if it returns true, that means there is a possibility of having the answer and we return true. See, if it is not there, if this returns false, then it's fine. We will come to our next condition that we are going to write. And if it if there is no root ka left, it's okay. This will not be called, right? Otherwise, we come here and what do we do? We put the same check for root ka right. 
so this is for the right side so if root ka right and has path sum so basically we now call the function for root ka right and what do we pass we again pass s minus root ka data again we are reducing the sum by the data that is present at that root node we are passing to the right child now and before passing we are checking that okay only if there is a right child present we are going to do this and what are we going to do we are going to return true from here if both of them don't return true now suppose that there is no uh, path sum present on the left side and there is no path sum present on the right side also now suppose there is no path sum present on the left side on, and on the right subtree if on both the sides there is it is not returning true then also we have to return something right there has to be like a last return statement so what do we do that we add that as false let me explain this again see if the if this also doesn't return true this also doesn't return true that means that there is no path sum why is that because we have checked on both the sides we have checked on the left side we have checked on the right side since both of them didn't return true by default we have to return false and see if there was a path sum present on the left side this would have returned true if there was a path sum present on the right side this would have returned true now there are multiple ways of writing this code we don't have to necessarily check the left side only first what we could have done we could have just check the right side first and this also works let's actually compile and see first let's run it and see let's submit it and see see this also works why is that see i have never told you that you have to call for the left side only before or for the right side only before you basically have to check on both the sides so don't get confused that okay uh, we have to call for the left side only you are just checking that if there is a path sum present so this is one way of writing the code some people what they might do they might instead of adding the leaf node check what they might to add they might they might add a check like that okay if root is basically equal to null pta so otherwise i can write like this if there is no root then return s value equal to 0 what does this mean this means that if my root value is itself equal to null then i will have to put up a check that okay if my sum is equal to 0 that means our answer is true right because there is no root and the sum is become 0 because you have like reached the leaf path and the sum is 0 so you have to return true otherwise you have to return false so instead of checking at leaf node they are checking at one level down they are checking when null is being passed so this is one way of writing the code since you are learning binary trees right now this is what i want you to do i want you to experiment writing different kinds of code i want you to look at the discussion part i want you to look at different codes and understand that okay why is the code working like this draw the recursive tree draw the recursive stack get used to it if we are dealing with the leaf node what conditions do we have to check if we are dealing with the root node what conditions do we have to check how and what values do we pass to the left subtree and to the right subtree i want you to be able to understand all of this properly as we move to more and more questions so i hope this was helpful and see you tomorrow